goal setting. Have you heard that you're 97% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down? The truth is that goal setting is important. In fact, it's without goal setting that you may never achieve the dreams of your heart. Every person in the world devotes countless hours to thinking of their future and their present situation in life. Almost everyone wishes that there was something that they could change in their life. Whether you dream of a new car, a boat, or even to be a movie star, goal setting is the important catalyst to your success. So let's get started because in this audio, you will learn the fundamentals of goal setting, which begins with how to choose the right goals to focus on. Many of us are great at trying to set goals. Most of us are practically incapable of following through with them. Think about it. How many times have you decided on a course of action and simply didn't follow through with it? That's pretty much the norm for most people. Sometimes even setting goals at all is the harder part of accomplishing any. The easiest way of looking at this is to think of each and every New Year. What's the biggest topic of conversation every year on New Year's Eve? It's actually the resolutions. But most of us will only keep our resolutions for a short time. With each passing day and week, fewer and fewer of us stick to our plans, our goals. Sometimes setting goals alone is not the only problem that you must face. Sometimes choosing the right goals to begin with is harder. Basically, you can choose to work any goal that you feel is necessary for your health, stability, and happiness. Goal setting is nothing more than a formal process for personal planning. By setting goals on a routine basis, you decide what you want to achieve and then move in a step by step manner towards the achievement of these goals. The process of setting goals and targets allows you to choose where you want to go in life. By knowing exactly what you want to achieve, you know what you have to concentrate on to do it. Goal setting is a standard technique used by professional athletes, successful business people, and high achievers in all fields. It gives you a long term vision and provides you with short term motivation. It helps to focus your attention and knowledge, which helps you to organize your resources. By setting sharp and clearly defined goals, you can measure and take pride in the achievement of these goals. You can see forward progress in what might previously have seemed a long, pointless effort. By setting goals, you will also raise your self confidence as you recognize your ability to meet the goals you have set. The process of achieving goals and seeing this achievement gives you confidence that you will be able to achieve higher and more difficult goals later on. Goals are set on a number of different levels. In the first place, you decide what you want to do with your life and what large scale goals you want to achieve. Second, you break these down into smaller aims that you must hit so you can reach your overall lifetime goals. Finally, once you have your plan, you start working towards achieving it. Why is it that some people almost always succeed? Here are four strategies to assist you to start changing the way you live your life one day and one goal at a time. In summary, they are state your goal in very specific terms that you can accept, plan backwards from your goal for the best results. Confront your fears and expectations immediately and progressively. Put your plan on paper and into action as soon as possible. Let's go through how this works. Your goal. Planning a career move is much like mapping your route for a road trip. If you don't know where you're going, you can't decide how to get there. But if you do know where you're going, you'll get there faster. Goals like go back to school are too general and not specific enough. You have to translate these goals into specific statements, such as enter a college accounting program by next fall, or for the next two months, search for work in the computer securities field. You have to know exactly what to do and when to go about it. Plan backwards. One of the best ways to move forward is to plan backwards. 
Start by asking yourself if you can accomplish your goal today. If you can't, why do you think that is? What do you have to do first? Is there something you have to do before that? Keep thinking backwards like this until you arrive at tasks you could do today. This will help you to attain the goal's starting point. For example, if your goal is to take a two-year business administration program, could you start today? No, you have to be accepted to the program first. Could you be accepted today? No, you have to apply first. Could you apply today? No, you have to decide which post-secondary institutions to apply to. Could you decide today? No, you have to do some research first, and so on. I could do this all day, but you get the point. But don't worry if your list of things to do becomes several lists. Deal with your fears and expectations of yourself. Look over your list of things you will have to do to achieve your goal. Do you believe that you can do it? If you have doubts, take some time to think them through first. Are your expectations realistic? Have you succeeded or failed at tasks that were similar to this before? What can you do to improve your chances of success this time around? For example, if there is a good chance you will not follow through with your plans, you have to ask yourself why. Are you a professional procrastinator? If so, what can you do to make sure that you will keep going until you reach your goal? Are you afraid of failing? If so, work at improving the skills you will need. Or test the waters by taking an evening or distance education course before you sign up for the whole program. If you are having trouble identifying your fears or figuring out how to deal with them, talk to people you trust. Ask for their suggestions, but always make your own decisions. Put your plan into action from the to-do list. By this stage, you probably have more than one list of things to do and, if it is necessary, some plans for avoiding or dealing with potential problems. Now you need to put them all together into one comprehensive plan. You must list tasks in the order in which you must complete them and set deadlines for the completion of any major plans. Successful career planners keep themselves on track using a variety of methods, such as marking tasks on a monthly calendar, noting important dates such as application deadlines or action plans, making weekly or daily lists of things to do, and crossing off tasks as they are completed, using a computer program to create timeline charts which give you your time limits for task completion, using a commercial appointment book or a notebook even a Palm Pilot with a new page for each day or week. Use whatever methods work best for you. If it is absolutely necessary, ask a friend to check on your progress occasionally or question you on your successes because you're more likely to get things done if you know you'll be asked about it. Now you have learned a new way to set goals and follow them through. If you follow these four steps, there's nothing to hold you back. Setting Goals for Fitness and Health Health and fitness goals are certainly among the most common. After all, wouldn't most of us like to shed a few pounds or commit to something that would bring us the results of a fitness program? If this is you, here's how to go about setting goals for fitness and or health. Begin by first deciding what it is that you want out of it. Do you want to improve your appearance, your physical skills, build endurance, flexibility or strength, or are you trying to lose weight? Make sure that the activities that you pick meet the goals for what you want to get out of it. Set yourself up for success. It's important not to destabilize your efforts with goals that are too long-term or impossible to attain. For example, I want to lose all my extra weight before summer is too unrealistic, particularly if you have a great deal of weight to lose and summer is just around the corner. Too often, goals are an end result of whatever program we choose and not a part of it. You have to make goals an active part of your life by creating goals that lead to the next goal. It is just like the backwards technique you may have already heard of. For instance, setting a goal to lose 10 pounds puts the goal at the end without putting too much pressure on you right away. You can add to this goal once it is achieved and so on. 
Setting a goal to join an exercise class and attend it three times a week makes the weight loss goal a part of the program. You will have set a goal that is achievably almost immediately. This gives you a sense of accomplishment, which is an incentive to setting and achieving the next goal. Record your progress. Write your goals down so that you have something to look forward to as well as to look back on. To begin, map out no more than eight weeks of activities towards your first fitness goal. Working within your lifestyle, decide on a regular program. It's not necessary to work out every day, especially when beginning a new program as your body is not used to the stress. Our bodies become tired if expected to do hard work seven days a week. Exercising every other day is a safe and realistic goal. Keep track of how much time you want to spend doing an activity, followed by how much time you will actually spend on it. Not everyone is looking at fitness and health to lose weight. Perhaps you are just looking to better your health. We tend to focus most on the area of our health in our lives when our health is already failing or is less than stellar. Unfortunately, it may sometimes take a life-threatening event, illness, or some type of physical rehabilitation to give us a wake-up call to make tough changes in our current health habits. We try to follow through on sound health principles such as enough sleep, a healthy diet, and plenty of exercise, yet we may not have the time in our busy schedule or have strong enough willpower to implement a balanced and healthy lifestyle. With the pressures of the fast-paced world in which we live, stress can set in and take its toll. Many of us spend a lot of time away from home. What that means is that we are eating on the road as well, which doesn't always offer us the best or healthiest choices. Perhaps we are lucky to get six, maybe seven hours of sleep per night while we now work at least six days per week. The old saying, at least I have my health, is finally starting to mean something to a great deal of people. You might be wondering, what can you do to improve your health? Prioritize what is most important to you in your own individual lifestyle. The fact is, it doesn't matter what your fitness or health goals are. But be honest with yourself at all times when it comes to your personal goals. And as often said, you should also consult a doctor before making any changes to your diet or exercise regimen to ensure that you will not harm yourself. That's all there is to it, and continued success to you.